Welcome to Computer Science Principles. Follow along with the curriculum at bjc.edc.org. Unit 3. Lists. Lab 2. Page 2. The for each block. Okay, so for this lesson, again, we load the uh, curriculum. We go into Unit 3 lists. This time we're looking in Lab 2 and the for each block. So thinking out loud, Alfie and Betsy are making a list of coordinates for a sprite to make the following drawing. And the drawing is the shape of the letter A. And so Betsy says, let's use a list of lists to hold the X and Y coordinates for the letter A. So here's the variable A, that's what she's called it. And inside there is a list of lists. So A is set to a list with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, with eight primary buckets. So those are the coordinates around the outside. And in each primary bucket, there is an X, Y coordinate. Alfie says, so for each of the eight lists, we want to make the sprite go to them. Uh, and each of the points are item one, comma, item two. And so here's how I would start it, Alfie says. And so he clears, he puts the pen down, and then for each point of A, do something. So one thing that's worth noting is when we find this block in the uh, in the side in the variable family, it's going to say for each item of list. So A is the list, and point is really a, a renamed version of item. So it's part of our conceptualization that instead of item, we're calling it point because this is the point on a coordinate plane. So for each point of the list, glide one second to x comma y these have blanks and then after it's done that for each of the points glide one second to zero zero and then bring the pen up so but what goes in the blanks after x and y hmm good question betsy says also this script isn't quite right we don't want the pen down as it goes from wherever the sprite starts to the first position and it won't connect the first and the last points together either so here's what we have to do. We have to load and finish building Alfie's script, then fix the bugs that Betsy noticed. All right, so first of all, let's load it. Okay, so here it is. So let's see what it does first if I press clear. So it's actually not doing anything because we need to get it to go to each of these points. So for each point, go to or really glide one second to the x value and then one second to the y value. So if we take a look at this this point here, we want for each point, well here is a point, we want it to go to this is the x and this is the y. So really what we need to do is is take the first item, the first item of point, because each point is a list, and then go to the second item of point as well. So I'm going to put this item back, this list item. So that's what we want it to do. And it's going to do this for each of those items. So let's try it. Okay, so it did a pretty good job. Uh, just it drew a line when it went to the first point and then after that, it didn't connect up the last and the first point. It went to zero, zero, and it drew that line as well. So how are we going to fix it? Well, at the final, um, the final step, we definitely don't want it gliding to zero, zero. We want it to glide back to the first item of this list. So we could change this to go to item one of so item one of a this is going to be this is going to return this right here negative 50 20 negative 50 20 so to get the x value the negative 50 we want to choose item one of that so that's going to give us the negative 50 and then to get the 20 we want to choose item two of that so these will become our starting point and also our ending point. So if I clear the board and draw this again, 
hopefully now the last step is it's going to make it all the way back to the very first point which it does but now we just have this problem with the first bit of the drawing so we could um, instead of going straight into this drawing where we do the pen down maybe we don't want the pen down until it's arrived at the first place and then after it's arrived then we can do pen down so if I duplicate this get rid of this so if I glide to the first place and then do pen down and just to make sure maybe I need a pen up before I start gliding so pen up glide to the first location and then for each point do this stuff so if I clear and try it now one more time so so far it's looking good and we did it now there's one thing that I noticed is that there was a pause after I pressed it so instead of glide maybe I just want to go to so if I find the go to and the first place to go to is this X and then this Y I could separate this I could throw away the glide and put this one back in there so now when I clear it it's ready for work it clears it does pen up and then it starts drawing all right so next it says your script should have the correct inputs the glide blocks that the sprite glides to each item on the list only have the pen down when connecting two points and connect the first and last point so it did all of that stuff take it further update the script so that it completes the drawing of the letter a choose the additional coordinates yourself so for it to draw the rest of this letter we would need to put in the middle blocks so to figure out what these coordinates are first of all I'm gonna I'm gonna duplicate this I'm gonna grab one of these points and then I'm gonna I know that there has to be a triangle inside so I'm gonna grab these as three different points and in fact you know if I lay them out I can even make it look like where the points have to go so it needs to be a triangle right here so to figure out what exactly these points are if I choose the sensing and then choose the mouse X and the mouse Y then I can actually put my mouse on one of the points which is roughly here so let's see negative the X value is going to be around negative in fact is it zero I guess zero right so roughly there the x value could be 0 and the y value could be 96 so 0 and 96 now over here this could be negative 17 and 67 negative 17 and 67 there's probably a more precise way to do this I'm just kind of eyeballing this right now and then presumably I want a flat line so that means that the Y value is going to stay the same and so from negative 17 all the way over here which I don't know is like 16 ish and so maybe there is some symmetry here if I make this negative 16 and then make this one 16 they both should have the same Y value because it's a horizontal line so that's going to be 67 so I think that these three points are going to work so what we can do now is I'm going to hide the uh, the sensing attributes so now I'm going to think well after it's done this I need to do um, a pen up which it does and now maybe I should have a separate set of um, a separate list almost so variables I could create a variable and call it B and there's other ways to do this I'm just I'm just uh, I'm just doing it in, in one way that kind of makes sense to me so I'm setting B to a list that has three inputs so the first is here then I go to the triangle and then I go to this so B is set to this so I'm setting my two variables okay now 
after it's done pen up and gone to the start and drawn the outside of the A and then it does pen up, now what I need to do is I now need to do all of this stuff kind of again, but now it's not of A, it's gonna be of B. So go to the first of B, and that's gonna be with a pen up. And then after it's gone to that first point, well, let's just run the script right now without the second stuff attached. So it draws the outside of the A, it then reconnects it, it then does pen up, and it doesn't look like it's going here. So part of the reason might have been the duplication that I just did. So instead of duplicating it, I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna make them from scratch. So item one of, and then item two of. And in fact, um, yeah, item one of, item two of. And then inside here, I need item one of B. So I'm gonna drag that over, item one of B. And then I need item two of, item one of, and drag B. Okay, so we just made that fresh, even though it's identical to what I just pulled out, sometimes the code's a little buggy, so I'm gonna clear it. Let's, still a delay with this thing starting, which is a little weird. Okay, so it draws a whole shape, then it does pen up, and it's not going here. It says list.at, and there's a problem. So did I click this? Maybe I just didn't set the variable until I click. All right, so now B has that. So I bet that was actually the problem, is that I didn't initialize this variable. Even though I created this, I didn't actually initialize it. So, okay, now B has all of these values. So now I can hold B, and A has all of these values. Okay, so I must remember to do that. So now when I click it, we're gonna see what happens. So it pauses for a second, slightly weird. It's now gonna draw the outside it reconnects and then it goes to where I need it to go, which is great, that's what I wanted it to do. So once it's there, I'm gonna choose pen down and then I'm gonna choose for each point of B, so now we're looking at the B list, we need to glide one second um, to item one of point and then item two of the point. And then after it's done all of that stuff, we need it to reconnect. So I then need to go to item one of list B and item two of item one of list B and then do pen up. So this should complete the whole thing. So here it goes. Okay. So because it's a triangle, it looks a little wrong. Maybe I should have done a, a quadrilateral inside a four-sided shape, but kind of does create it. So you know what, that's good enough for now. The curriculum has been brought to you by Beauty and Joy of Computing in association with UC Berkeley, also the National Science Foundation, EDC, and the SEP program at the New York City Department of Education.